Hey guys, so I've been getting a lot of questions about data science and data analytics, technical questions, and how to answer them. So first off, if you haven't watched my other video talking about how to ace your interviews, feel free to check that out. That gives you some tips and tricks on how to answer interview questions and also how to navigate some technical questions during those interviews. For data science and data analytics specifically, we do not really use leak code, but I found an alternative to leak code that specifically applies to data science, data analytics, and machine learning. So if you guys wanna check that out, I'll leave the website down below. So yeah, today we're gonna to be answering some of the questions on that website. It's called datalemur.com. We're gonna go for some of the easy questions today and we're gonna escalate all the way to the difficult questions eventually in the future. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. So yeah, first we're gonna try the uh, LinkedIn data science skills question. It has a uh, easy difficulty level. Uh, the task here is to Find candidates best suited for an open data science job. You wanna find candidates who are proficient in Python, Tableau, and Postgres SQL. Uh, let's see. So here it says you wanna find candidates who are proficient in Python, Tableau, and, and Postgres SQL. So that, that's a tricky part. Uh, write a query to list all the uh, candidates who possess those skills. No duplicates, gotcha. Okay, so uh, here we see that the candidate ID is duplicate. So this is the same user or same candidate and they have three skills. Interesting. Gotcha. So just from that, I let's, let's look at the table first. So I'm assuming this is a error column right here, which is fine. Okay, great. So for that, we're just going to do select candidate ID from candidates and then where skill in and then we're just going to do python what was the other one tableau and postgres now this gives us all the candidates who have either python tableau or postgres but we want uh candidates who only have all three so yeah for that we're just gonna have to group by candidate ID and then we're gonna have to do an aggregate so count candidate ID has to be greater than or equal to three and then you want to order it and you want to order it by candidate ID let's see great this should be it let's see if it works yep Correct. So basically what this query does, it takes the candidate ID column from the candidates table and it looks for the skills Python, Tableau, and Postgres. The query, sorry, the, the question wants candidates who have all three skills. So we had to do a aggregate to look at the candidate ID and make sure the candidate ID appears three times or more, which means that they have at least three skills or more. And those skills are either Python, Tableau, or Postgres SQL. So this was pretty easy, it wasn't too bad. I hope you guys are able to follow through. I'll leave the solution down below. There's also a solution tab right here where you guys can look at how they came up with their solution. Uh, it's a little different to mine. Uh, the only difference is actually having skill equals to three. Yeah, so the only difference is what they use as their aggregate and the number. I put greater than equals to three because I think that's a more concrete, uh, I think that's more realistic because they could have more, more than three skills. But I guess this tends to the specific questions better. So uh, feel free to choose what answer you want. Next, let's go to the second task. It's called Facebook page with no likes, and it's also easy. So for this question, uh, you're supposed to take the two tables about Facebook pages and their respective likes, and write a query to return the IDs of the Facebook page that have no likes. Gotcha, so the first, tab the first table is the pages table and this has two columns. The second table is page likes table and this has three columns. So, so I'm a little confused about the page likes table. Let me, let me take a look at that table real quick. So yeah, it looks here that everybody in this table has had a like. So what I'm gonna do here is just, I'm gonna do an outer join. So I'm gonna merge both the tables, the pages tables and the page likes tables by the page ID column. And uh, this will have all the instances, whether there's likes or no likes. And then I'm gonna filter for the ones where uh, the, the like column is null so that I am able to get the ones that don't have any likes. So for that, let me just do 
page ID from pages uh, left outer join uh, page likes as like SP and then let's do colos p dot page ID l dot page ID this page Now, order by page ID. Great. So, what this does, uh, so first it takes the page ID columns from both the pages. The reason I did a colesc is because I don't want two separate columns from uh, each page referencing to the same uh, identity, which is the page ID. So, I'm, I coalesce them and uh, I merge it with an outer join from the pages table to the page likes table based on the page ID column. And I filtered it to where the like date is null. So that would mean that there's no like. And then I ordered it by page ID because that's what they wanted. And let's see if this works. It does, great. Uh, we can go to view all questions and do more questions. Let's see. Uh, done that. There are premium accesses and non-premium, so we're gonna probably focus on the non-premium ones for this uh, specific series. Uh, if you guys want, you can check out the premium. I think it's pretty good if you have the money. Uh, it's additional practice, so why not? So yeah, cool, that's all for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this new series. I'm gonna try and pump these videos out as much as I can. Uh, if you guys want more videos like this, feel free to leave a comment and a like down below. Once we get to the difficult questions, I'm going to push down the amount of uh, questions we answer in a specific video because I don't want the videos to get too long. For right now, I'll probably do two to three questions per video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.